Jai Hind to all. Today we are going to start with the first chapter of class 9th that is number system. In class 8th you all have talked about different types of number systems. For example we have started with natural number. After that we talked about whole numbers. After that, we talked about integers. In class 8, the first chapter was of rational numbers. So we will begin this journey with the rational numbers. As we all know, the rational number are the numbers which can be expressed in the form of P by Q, where P and Q are co-prime integers where P and Q are co-prime integers and the value of Q that means the denominator will not be equals to zero. So the rational numbers are those numbers which can be expressed in the form of P by Q where P and Q are co-prime integers and Q is not equals to zero. Let's talk about a little bit about co-prime. So co-prime numbers are those numbers uh, which doesn't have any common factor other than one. So they are called co-prime numbers. You can take any two consecutive numbers. They will be called as co-prime numbers. So we'll talk about few more properties of rational number. First of all, we'll discuss about the representation of rational numbers on the number line. We all have studied in our previous classes also. So suppose if I have to represent three by four on the number line, so we'll draw a number line. Since it's a positive rational number, so that will lie between uh, towards the right side of the numbers. Now, this is how our number line looks. Now 3 by 4 is a number whose denominator is 4 and the numerator is 3. So what we'll start, we'll start dividing each part between two successive integers into four equal parts. So over here if I divide it into four parts, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, three four it gets divided into four parts so the first one will represent one by four this will represent two by four and this will represent three by four this is how we can represent this on the number line after that the next topic is about uh, finding rational numbers between a pair of rational number for example if i have to find out six rational numbers between 1 by 3 and 1 by 2. So there are several methods to find out the rational numbers between a pair of rational numbers. Here what we will discuss is the simplest and the easiest way to represent the six uh, the uh, to calculate the rational numbers between a pair of rational numbers. So suppose if I have number 1 by 3 and 1 by 2 and we need to insert 6 rational numbers between them. So in that case, first of all, we will try to see whether the numbers have the same denominator or not. If they will have the same denominator, we will proceed to the next step. If not, we will try to make the denominator same by taking their LCM. So over here, the LCM of 3 and 2 will be equals to 6. To make this 3 as 6, we will multiply the numerator and denominator by 2. So we'll be getting 2 by 6 over here. Same way to make 1 by 2 with the denominator 6, we'll multiply the numerator and denominator by 3. We'll be getting it over here as 3 by 6. 
after that find out how many rational numbers you have to calculate over here we need to calculate six rational numbers that will be your n so over here the value of n is six we'll add one to it that means we'll find out the value of n plus one that is six plus one is equals to seven whatever number you will obtain over here the same will be multiplied to the numerator and the denominator of the obtained numbers over here and here so we'll multiply 2 into 7 divided by 6 into 7 which gives us 14 by 42 and over here 3 into 7 upon 6 into 7 which gives you 21 by 42 now if you can see over we have 14 and here 40 21 divided by 42 in both the cases after 14 we have 15 16 17 18 19 20 and all divided by 42 this is the methods in which you will always get at least the desired number of rational numbers between a pair of rational number you may get more than that by using this method but you will never get lesser than the required value that is six now we'll try to reduce it in the simplest form if possible over here this cannot be done so three fives are 15 and so it can be written as 3 5s are 15 upon 3 1s are 3 3 4s are 12 so it can be written as 5 by 14 this can be written as 8 by 21 we cannot reduce it so we can represent it as 17 by 42 this once again can be 6 3s are 18 6 7s are 42 19 by 42 remain as it is and then this can be written as 10 by 21 so this is or these are the six rational numbers which were required so this is how we can find out any sort of rational numbers any number of rational numbers between a pair of rational number for you all there is an exercise in the ncrt first chapter where we have to calculate the rational numbers between a pair of rational numbers to solve those questions. We'll meet with the next topic in the next class. Till then, have a good time.